awesome. Hello everyone. Thank you for joining me. So here's what I thought. I thought it would be super cool. I'm riding the virtual Tevis Cup, which is 100 miles in 100 days so one rider and one horse do this together and it's a super cool fundraiser uh for the uh the actual tevis cup ride and the organization that runs that so it's been great to do that so today i'm out here in beautiful colorado with my horse rappy and i thought you'd like to join me for one mile today so let's get started We've got some beautiful Halflinger horses off to our left. Thank you for joining in today. So we had some snow here in Colorado recently and it's actually super interesting right now because the trees are raining, <laughs> all of the snow and ice, but uh, it is just a bluebird sky sort of Colorado day. Evans. Actually, it's called Mount Blue Sky now. The name was recently changed. So Mount Blue Sky is over on the left, kind of that tall peak there. There's some of that rainy snow falling from the trees. <laughs> Kimberly says, good morning from Washington State. Cool, cloudy, windy, and a little rainy here. And your Icelandic doesn't mind at all. Yeah. <laughs> the Icy's are fantastic at not, uh, at not caring at all about the weather. I was riding Rafi uh, yesterday or a couple of days ago in the snow and the rain, and he was, uh, he was such a little trooper. He doesn't mind. Although he is finally starting to really shed his, uh, his winter coat. So I think spring is officially on the way, <laughs> in theory. We'll see how many more snowstorms we get. But in Colorado, you kind of get used to having like a lot of different layers and you just put on whatever you need and take it off when the sun comes up. <laughs> Hi, Maggie, welcome. We're doing uh, one mile of a virtual ride today. It's counting towards my, uh, my Tevis Cup ride where I'm riding 100 miles over 100 days with this little guy. Oh, thank you. Good luck and happy rides, everyone. Awesome. Good afternoon from Ontario, Canada. Cool with sunshine and cut the grass. Ontario. Oh, fun. I love Canada. I need to film the Canadian horse, actually. They are on my list to film. Super pretty view for you guys over here. We've got a little pond down there. We also have, uh, for you horse riders, um, if you notice a bunch of garbage bags over here and trash cans, um, <laughs> Rafi's noticing them as well. <laughs> Almost 70 storm came in and went to 50. In a matter of two hours, yeah, that temperature drop is so crazy. Feels like it changes seasons in, a, in like a heartbeat. Hi, Nancy, Northern California, Northern California, sunny and mild. Too expensive to board horses or buy a home. Yes, California. It is a beautiful, beautiful place. Great weather for sure.
Maggie says you're getting lessons quite soon because you've always had a love for horses. Maggie, that is an awesome way to get started. And it is, it's so important to be able to have somebody that can kind of help guide you. And, and there's, there's so much to learn. Like I love today, even just getting out and taking riding lessons, because I just find, you know, no matter how long you've been around horses, you just, you keep, you keep learning about them and you keep learning from them. And it, it's so much fun to have a great instructor that can help guide you in that journey. Oh, your two-year-old loves to watch the episodes. That's so fun. Hopefully the signal is holding for you guys. Uh, we are in the mountains here, so <laughs> no promises on, on good connection. We're giving it a go. Ah, Lakewood Ranch, Florida. Super cool. Welcome. Thanks for joining. Hi, Nina. Yeah, those, <laughs> those ears. <laughs> His ears are pretty cute, I agree. We're gonna pop across the road here. And there's a little bridle path off to the left of this. So we're gonna hook up on that. And sometimes we have some visitors that come over and say hi. So we'll see who all wants to see us from these horse pastures over here today. How old? He is, so Rappy is 22 and uh, he's actually gonna be 23 next month. Avoid the trash can here. <laughs> Happy early birthday. Oh, Rappy. <laughs> he says, yes, I definitely need some carrot cake for my birthday. I don't know if you guys noticed or not, um, Rappy is, uh, you can see in his shadow down here, Rappy's signature move is to have his little tongue hang out when we ride. And uh, I see that a little bit right now. <laughs> Good evening from Spain. Oh, cool. <laughs> Carrot cake. Awesome. <laughs> okay, super fun because uh, coming coming from Spain, that's actually exciting news that I have about my upcoming film trip. Um, I'm actually going to be headed starting in Portugal next week and then I will be in Spain. So, so get ready guys because we're going to have some Spanish breeds coming to the channel. I'm super excited. Awesome, great questions coming in here. Awesome. Oh, loved your documentary when you did the two weeks to Iceland. Oh yeah, we did the trek in Iceland with the with the riding with a herd. That was just super, super fun. Are you going to cancer? <laughs> yeah, let me uh, let me turn around so we're not going downhill. And uh, let me get you guys a little canner here. I'll, I'm holding the phone, so I'll try to usually have my GoPro so you don't have to go all over the place, but uh, Let's do a little canter. Okay, hold on everybody. Best feeling ever, right? <laughs> Old 
do a little tolt on the way back here. <laughs> I wish I was you now. <laughs> well, thank you for riding along with me. I'm very glad to have all of you here. I hope you're enjoying the ride. <laughs> What breed is my horse? This is Raffi. He is a 22 year old Icelandic gelding. You can see we're doing a little tolt right now, which is the additional gait that Icelandic horses have. They are either four or five gated. Some Icelandic horses can also do flying pace. So this is the tolt, which is a very smooth gait to ride. Super fun. We've got some company over here. <laughs> And a few more friends over on the left hand side. I'm not 100% sure, but I think that horse there is a Rocky Mountain. Rappy's pretty small. Oh, you subscribed. Thank you for subscribing. <laughs> Lots of fun horse videos coming up if you want to check them out. <laughs> uh, Rappy is, he's pretty short actually. He's very, uh, he's very strong because he is an Icelandic. So he is very stout. Um, very stout little legs and uh, he is just under 13 hands. Got little friends saying hi again. <laughs> I'm gonna take a wild guess. Is he 11-3? <laughs> It's just actually pretty good. He's he's a bit over twelve. I uh, I need to measure him. I think I think he's twelve three, but that might be a little bit of uh, might be a little bit shorter than that. <laughs> he is my only horse. Yes. The only one right now. I've had to make a rule for myself that I am. I, I do all this traveling and I get to meet these amazing breeds around the world, but that means I am gone during filming sessions. And so my current rule is I'm not supposed to be any horse until the end of my project. And so far, I've been doing pretty well. We're at 121 breeds. Um, I've still got a ways to go, but so far, I've been doing a good job of uh, not. Uh, not ending up with another horse yet. <laughs> when did I get him? Raffi I have had for 10 years now. That's kind of crazy to think about. I'm shocked you only have one. I know, I know. It, it's actually the first time in my life I grew up with horses and it's the first time in my life I've only had one. Looking at the sign over here. <laughs> Maggie, you're heading out. Thanks so much for joining me. Have an awesome day. Can we see flying pace? So Rappy is actually only four gated. So he's one of the Icelandic horses that does not have the fifth gate, which is flying pace. He would love to show it to you if he could, but unfortunately <laughs> doesn't have the genetics for it. Your horse is the same size. She's 25. You got her last summer. The first horse you had 30. Oh my gosh, that is so cool. I'm just checking the roads here, guys, to make sure there's no cars coming. I'm gonna pop up this way because I lose signal pretty quick. So we'll show you guys the pond up here and have to wrap up our little ride for today pretty soon. Can he jump? I've got a 17.3 Frisian, Frisian stallion. Oh, fun. Raffi can jump. He uh, Now that he's a little bit older, he doesn't put as much energy into it. So when we're out on the trail, he will uh, <laughs> he'll make an effort. He used to kind of over jump everything. Uh, you know, I'd throw a barrel up in the arena and he would jump pretty high. But uh, these days it's more of just getting over things. <laughs> How 
How long have I ridden? I have been riding horses now for almost three decades. <laughs> Of this little pond over here. Where was your horse born? Iceland or America? So Rappi was actually born in America. Uh, he was born here in Colorado. It is kind of interesting because with horses in Iceland, if they're bred in Iceland and then they leave, they can't ever return to Iceland. So it's uh, kind of one of those bittersweet things. I mean, we're so lucky. Yeah. Sorry, some signal issues here. <laughs> okay, I have questions. I've got a pond up here, and uh, I'm happy on the ground so you can see him. That video shows you the highest jump. Very, very talented horse with a super awesome instructor. I don't have a jumping ground. I love it, um, but I have done very much so that was uh that was for me that was a really really awesome thing nancy rehab to thoroughbred off the track oh so cool road since before i learned to walk but haven't now for a long time oh since you had to sell your thoroughbred you need to get into it again you absolutely should there's a hawk i don't know if you guys can quite see the hawk up there Kind of off in the distance. Okay, I'm gonna pop off of Rappy here. So this is Rappy, and let's let's see. You, uh, but yes, we have this virtual cup. I think today now we're gonna number 20 mile marker 20 get these rides in because I am headed to Spain and Portugal to film some more breeds. So thank you all so much for being here. Um, let me know if you want me to do more of these lives. I would love a chance to kind of get to know more of you all and, and hear your horse stories. So thank you all so much and I will see you in another video.